to report on I don't know if it's good or bad yet I don't know how I feel about it but 36 weeks pregnant that is one month left one four weeks okay so as always I usually start with like the general baby updates right so here we go baby is somewhere around six pounds or more in 18 and a half inches or so or more and baby's peach fuzzy fur that covers them while they're in the uterus womb the uterus womb the uterus womb is starting to fall off as well as the vernix and baby consumes both of these things <sighs> yucky and that is what makes up um the meconium Baby's first poo. Meconium. Yeah. The tar poo. Oh, the tar dump. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And some symptoms this week that have been going on. Uh, the same freaking back pain mm -hmm. that's been going on. The same muscle, and it's horrible. It's just achy, and I mean, I can stand it, whatever, but it's just that annoying pain that just doesn't go away. And exhaustion and sleepiness, naps, still a regular thing. Mm. I still sleep eight or nine hours at night or so. And then like a two hour nap. Yeah, a two to three hour nap. Mm -hmm. Sometimes an occasional four. Yeah. I'm definitely feeling the hormones. I'm quite feisty if I get upset. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm also getting really stressed for the arrival, be it nesting or my anxiety in general. I don't know, but there's... Reasoning. Yeah, there is reasoning. There is reasoning. Big update for stressing on the arrival. Cravings this week, my big one, really the only craving craving was sweet tea. And I know it's got caffeine, but I made sure not to drink over the suggested amount of caffeine in a day. But you, you topped it out. I did top it out most of the days. Okay. And as I said last week, we were going for a level 2 ultrasound with a perinatal clinic. But we did make this appointment. We did have the level 2 ultrasound. The, there was no sign of placenta previa. They kind of double check that just with their equipment. And they also check the fluid. Now, in the last update, I believe I was able to tell you that the fluid level resolved itself. However, it didn't, or it expanded again. I don't know. But it was at a 29.2, or was it like 29.6? It was 29 point something. Yeah, 29 something. Baby's heart looked quite swell. Baby's brain looked quite okay. swell. Baby's kidneys were full and functioning. Baby's Function. bladder was full and oh, functioning function. normally. The umbilical cord had a great flow, a great pulse. Um, I'm not exactly positive how they measure that. We did see... Yeah where they change on the screen where you can actually see like the flow of blood through it. That was kind of cool to see. Now for the interesting <laughs> portion of this video. Uh, our lovely baby all of a sudden possibly weighs 7 pounds 11 ounces. Big old baby. Apparently, according to their measurements. How my baby gained Two exact pounds in a week and a half. Either somebody fudged up, someone's measuring wrong. <sighs> mm. 
-hmm. Or my baby had only a, sugar all week. Yeah, a chunky monkey growth spurt. <laughs> I don't know what is going on really. I am quite frightened because I am 36 weeks, right? So if baby continues on that path of gaining about a pound a week, I will have like a 10 pound baby or more if he goes later. So I'm on a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting this baby out. Um, baby's feet. Oh, and baby's feet were measuring three inches long. That is crazy. And his head and his legs were measuring like 39 weeks, four days or something like that. So... Well, his head was 40, day, uh, 40 weeks, four days. Okay, well, he's measuring full term. Middle, middle. Full term. Shorty fingers. So how... This is just what boggles my mind. My baby, since day one, has measured perfectly on track. Like, steadily going up the growth charts, on total track with the conception date, which I know for sure because it was confirmed via ovulation test, as well as the early dating ultrasound, it lined up perfectly. And I know babies grow differently. This is what I've been saying forever now at the end of pregnancy. How my baby has grown that much in just a week and a half. I don't know if I should be worried about his growth spurt or concerned. But I am quite concerned for labor. And I am going back and forth whether I want to ask to kind of be induced early or if I just keep going like this all day, every day, constantly, and get this baby low and down and get that cervix open. <sighs> I'm very, very overwhelmed and concerned with this information and big baby syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> and there is an actual term, and it is an LGA baby. I have an LGA baby, which is large for gestational age. The, the ultrasound technician that did the ultrasound um, was looking at his face, just, just to kind of try to get us a picture, I think. And she's like, oh, look at those chubby cheeks. Those are really chubby cheeks. And then she's like, wait, um, those aren't chubby cheeks. Those are jowls. That made me so upset and so mad. <laughs> And then she was looking at his little hands, and she's like, oh my, those are really chubby little hands. <sighs> Which is cute and all. <sighs> I'm really, I'm really frightened, honestly. Like, that's how I feel. I am scared. I wasn't that scared for labor. Obviously, it's a friggin' scary thing, especially the first time around. But now that I could possibly have a nine plus pound baby. First try. I am afraid. I am afraid. And and apparently it just is gonna be kind of probably a genetic thing because me and my brother were big babies. So I guess I inherited that from my mama. But she had big babies. However, her body was not able to birth those big babies. So we, me and my brother were both C-sections. Which, I think I've talked about C-sections before. I am completely terrified of C-sections. So I just don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm afraid. My OB visit will be on Wednesday. And so then I'm going to kind of talk everything over and my fears, my concerns with my regular OB. I have heard and have read mixed emotions on induction, but I, if it's going to get my baby here safer, that's what I'm going to do. Or C-section, I hope it's not my only option. And I hope this baby doesn't get stuck if I do go vaginally. 
So I guess I'm going to wrap this up because I just would rant more about how confused and how frightened I am is. and how big my baby is. <laughs> Our baby. Our baby. Yes, he kind of had a part in it too, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm big and loud. I'm tall. Um, yeah, we're talking about making the baby at this moment. Oh. That was not the right comment to say. Oh. Oh, <laughs> not, yeah. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Bye. Bye, and here is my 36-week belly. Here is the right side. My belly's hanging out a little, actually. <laughs> the front. Yes, this is my belly button. And the left side. <laughs>